Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brooks Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of May 6th, 2020. Uh, again, the only books that are coming out right now are DC titles. DC is slowly releasing titles that were supposed to have come out prior to the shelter-in-place orders that were put into place for a lot of states. So now we're starting to get a little bit more. Uh, last week, if you watched my video, we only really had two books, uh, which or two books that I got, but only like four books total, I think. Um, this week it's about six, um, seven books, so, um, uh, or uh, maybe eight, I think. Oh yeah, um, Green Lantern, uh, I think the second next Green Lantern book came out. Um, so, but here's my pull list. So first up we have Batman and the Outsiders, number 12. Uh, again, I love Batman and the Outsiders, I'm a sucker for the team because that's kind of my introduction to comics and uh, what I loved when I was buying comics as a kid. Next up we have DC Superstars, uh, number 17, the facsimile edition. This is the first appearance of Huntress. Uh, there is a debate whether or not uh, it's All-Star 69, I think, is the is uh, the um, first appearance of Huntress, even though they both came out around the same time. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we get the facsimile edition for Huntress, so I'm curious to check it out. Uh, it's about a $50 book on it regularly, um, but here, it's five bucks and I get to see what's in it. Next up, we have The Flash, number 753. Um, I think I need to get caught up with a couple issues of Flash, but for the most part, it's been really, really good. Fantastic after 750. Uh, Joshua Williamson's just, he he gets Flash as a character, um, and he just gives you a really, really great Flash story. Uh, so, yeah, so that's it. Um, next up, we have Hawkman, number 23. Uh, more um, Haunted by, or Haunted Secrets. We'll see what has to go on um, with uh, with Hawkman. It's been really interesting. Uh, I think Vendetti has done a really great job bringing us a different level to the character that is is really just very open ended and very big and grandiose and just the thought of what it could possibly be is just mind boggling. So Robert Vendetti has done a fantastic job with that. Um, today I did recommend um, the Freedom Fighters. Um, trade paperback for purchase. If you want something interesting, Robert Vendetti's um, Freedom Fighters is a really, really great story. They just released it on trade right around this shelter in place time. So a lot of people might not really know about it, um, but if I were you, I would definitely check it out. It is a solid, solid book. Uh, finally on my pull list is a Joker Harley Criminal Sanity number four, uh, DC Black Label book. I haven't yet dived into this book because honestly, the magazine books, I just don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not jumping at picking up this giant thing and reading through it. Uh, that's the one real big turnoff from these books. I know they're good. I know they're quality. I just, I haven't, when I, when I sit down to read them, I really have to kind of sit down to read them. So, uh, yep. Yeah. So for now, I am not reading those. I did pick up some variants this week. I got the Batman and the Outsiders variant, of course, for issue 12. Uh, Flash 753 had an awesome variant, so I picked that one up as well. And I picked the one up for Joker Harley Criminal Sanity number four. Uh, so yeah, so that's it for my pull list this week. Um, but uh, I did want to talk to you guys a little bit today about uh, kind of what I've been doing um, with my time. Uh, I thought I would have more time to read. I've only got about through about half of the short box of books I'm reading. And uh, now I'm adding more books to it. So I'm going to have to really get on task and on track with that read 10 single issues a day or more. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to read more books, uh, but I'm not even 100 pages into Once in Future Sky. Uh, I'm hopefully going to get more in. Um, it's just, I think with how my schedule has changed, it's been difficult during shelter in place. Um, I know for, a, for you know, people who are essential workers, it's um, thank you, you're much appreciated at your job uh, in what you do. I know that the pay sometimes doesn't reflect that. Um, I wish it did. But um, it's, uh, it, you know, for those people that, you know, their hours shifted to less hours, um, even though they're essential. And also for like me, I, shipped, I shifted twice in that I was working more at the comic book store because books were still coming out. But I stopped working at the school, but then I became like, a, like it, I was, my kids were with me all the time. Uh, I didn't have daycare or, or the after school program to, or school or the after school program to take them to anymore. 
so uh, that takes up a lot of time um, as a single parent. I wouldn't give it up for anything. Uh, but yeah, it, it sucks a lot of the time that you plan to do things. Um, <laughs> so uh, they're great, but uh, yeah, dad needs to get some stuff done. Uh, I did start to seed my front lawn, which is starting to come in a little, but I'm going to have to give it a little more um, seeding. Uh, the backyard, there's a we started to uh, clean it up back there, and there's a patch that I'm testing out the seeding on. So uh, trying to green thumb it a little this spring and summer to try and uh, you know make the front yard presentable and the backyard for, uh, for a place where we can want to go hang out. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then as for like work at the comic book store, it's really good. Um, I've been shipping out stuff almost every day that I'm there. Uh, I've been working on a project of putting handles on our back issue bins um, to pull, so you're able to pull out the uh, long box easily. Uh, so that's taken a little bit of time. I'm about, I got three more bins to do. Uh, so 36 more uh, boxes. So yeah, big project, um, monotonous project, but it's, uh, it's, it's getting there. Um, yeah, other than that, just, uh, I, I have a bunch of TV shows that I'm, uh, in this back half of the shelter in place that I want to get to, uh, Westworld season three, uh, because HBO max is starting up at the end of this month. I went ahead and pulled the trigger on getting that, uh, for the 1199 for a year. Uh, so I already have access to HBO now because I've done that, but, uh, I've already heard from numerous, from a couple of people that, uh, Season three is not the best, so I'm like, uh, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I might have a different opinion, but uh, who knows? I need to watch Bosch. Uh, there's a couple movies I want to I want to uh, check out. Um, I did make a uh, shelter in place purchase uh, that I've been eyeballing for a long time, uh, and that is a the complete um, Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, let me pick this up. Oh, this thing's heavy. Hardcover complete Calvin and Hobbes. This bad boy retails for like $200. Uh, it was on sale on Amazon for like $95. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that was kind of my shelter in place purchase. Um, I loved Calvin and Hobbes as a kid. Um, and uh, I just, I've never really had all of them. I only had two books, uh, but I read a lot of them elsewhere. Uh, but this is definitely a nice, sizable collection uh, that will go really nicely on the shelf. Uh, this is the one Amazon purchase that I've made where uh, it actually came in good condition um, for a... I was worried that this would come beat up and damaged in transport. Um, but uh, apparently whoever made this realized Amazon was probably going to sell it and bubble wrapped the whole thing uh, when they originally packaged it to ship to Amazon. So Amazon just had that and a, like a barcode on. So uh, yeah, so it actually came nice. Uh, so I was very, very impressed. So now that I own this bad boy, that's like, it's, it's 20 pounds. It like, it is, it, it's at least 22 pounds. Like this, this sucker is heavy, but, um, yeah, I can dive back into the Calvin and Hobbes that I enjoyed as a kid. So, um, don't know if it's going to happen now or anytime soon, but it's uh, definitely on my list of stuff to do. My son's already, he, he's like, is that for me? I'm like, no, you can have it after I die. And he's like, okay, I'll take it after you die. He's going to be nine on Monday. Um, speaking of birthdays, my daughter turns seven tomorrow. Uh, so I will be a the father of a seven-year-old little girl. Uh, she's The milestone is she will no longer have to have the booster seat in my truck. Uh, so for her, it's a big thing. For me, it is, yes, no more booster. I get rid of it. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Um, so we're going to the Comics Conspiracy Podcast. We we just do it remotely. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get back into the shop to record it um, and be able to be more present. I know that the through a lot of the distance stuff, people have a tendency to sound a little um, odd or contained in their environment. Um, like if you watch late night hosts, there there's no laughing. There's no audience to laugh at their jokes. So they have to kind of like pace it correctly. Otherwise it's just... Yeah, um, but, you know, hey, they're doing a great job of uh, sheltering in place and protecting uh, the people that work for them and themselves and all that stuff, so that's great. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching. That's it for this week. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, I did attempt to, I am attempting to 100% uh, a game I got years ago, and that's Horizon Zero Dawn. 
Um, I have a hundred percent of the game itself, and I've almost a hundred percent of the 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 DLC, the Frozen Wilds stuff. So I'm almost there. I think I just have to do one more. I just have to do the really hard hunting ground in the Frozen Wilds, uh, which is like it's brutal, um, and it, it's something I have to, you have to do this for under four minutes. It's ridiculous. I haven't even bro I haven't even gotten under this like five minutes and thirty seconds for the silver. I just keep getting bronze level. Uh, so yeah, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit rusty in the game, but so I got to try and get back to it. Uh, and then I think I have to beat one more, like, I just have to finish the game. I just never got around to finishing the Frozen Wilds DLC, uh, because I just, I just, I kind of just got to the point where I was like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this. So we'll see. Um, I love Horizon Zero Dawn. It's an amazing game. Uh, but I need to, um, I need to finish it out and, uh, and get it done, uh, because I have to, you know, uh, get, Finish Detroit Become Human and uh, start Witcher 3. I know I'm really behind on some of these games, but hey, I'm a single dad and I don't get much time to play. So that's it for this week's pull list. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want, you can leave any comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you're uh, checking out um, on these, uh, you know, what you're picking up and also what you're trying to check out while there were no book, new books or what you're curious about picking up or if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down in the comment section below. Uh, you can listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy Podcast. Like I said earlier, we just finished recording episode 451. Um, and uh, so we are, uh, we talk about, uh, you know, some of the DC, uh, what are we talking about? We talked about, uh, you know, more of the DC titles coming out, when every, all the titles are coming back, all that wonderful stuff. Um, apparently some news drops today about uh, that I kind of read about Marvel Digital. And man, I think that's going to piss some people off, so... Uh, maybe we'll talk about that more in the next episode. Maybe I'll talk about it a little more on this uh, next uh, next week. But uh, yeah, there's some interesting news coming out of that. Um, but uh, you, there'll be a link in the description below as usual for you to check out that episode. Uh, you can find, um, you can help me and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you help us with hosting fees, getting food sometimes, and yes, getting products. So thank you very much to all of our backers. It helps out immensely. Uh, it is much appreciated. Uh, you can help me out a little more directly if you purchase anything um, through any of the Amazon links I have here on the channel or over at conspiratorbrock.com. You click on that and you go buy the thing that's there or you just keep shopping off of that link. Uh, so I appreciate got people that take the initiative to do that. Uh, and you can also head over to my eBay page and see what I'm getting rid of to see if there's anything you want to pick up. Um, I know I need to get a couple things up. Um, I have a bunch of titles that I just need to filter through and and, uh, and organize and stuff and, and get up and purge out some stuff. So hopefully I'll have some new stuff up there. Um, but I have plenty of stuff up now. So uh, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, have uh, some. Well, I'll have some more stuff for you guys next week. I know that new books are coming back on the 20th of May. That is what they're saying. The 20th of May is when we're going to get new books. Now whether or not. The stop stores are going to be open. Uh, some will be, some won't. Uh, so you'll have to be aware of that. Um, stores that aren't open are still hopefully are still going to be getting their books. Hopefully, so make sure you can prepay for your books and pick them up uh, if they're doing curbside, which is what we will be doing going forward. Which means my schedule's changing again. Yay! Wonderful schedule changes. So, yeah, that's it. Hopefully, I'll get to this bad boy soon enough. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.